Hi everyone, I'm Caitlin and I'm here to tell you the GoPro Hero 10 is here. In this video, I'm going to tell you all about the new features of the Hero 10, as well as show you what's different from the Hero 9. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you press that subscribe button and don't forget to like and tap on that notification bell so you never miss any of our latest products. Let's jump right into it. Okay, first things first, let's talk about the new GP2 processor on the Hero 10. The GP2 system on a chip is the fastest yet for GoPro. Performance, touch controls, and frame rates are all going to be much faster than previous versions. You'll get faster offloads and enhanced stabilization. The Hero 10 has improved image quality and frame rates from the 9. The Hero 10 doubles the frame rates of the Hero 9 for even smoother motion. So now the Hero 10 gives you 5K 60 frames per second as opposed to 5K 30, 4K 120 as opposed to 4K 60, and 2.7K 240 instead of 2.7K 120. And the Hero 10 is able to utilize HyperSmooth 4.0 video stabilization in all modes, even live streaming. The Hero 9 couldn't do that. You can set HyperSmooth to standard, boost, or off, and you get even better horizon leveling with the Hero 10. For 4K 60, 2.7K 120, and 1080p 120, the tilt limit has changed from 27 degrees in the Hero 9 to 45 degrees in the Hero 10. Watch as I tilt the camera. You're able to rotate this far without the horizon shifting, and the footage looks as if the horizon stayed straight the entire time. It's pretty amazing, really. With the Hero 9, you are able to take stunning 20 megapixel photos, but now with the Hero 10, that increases to 23 megapixel photos. And that's in all modes other than live burst. So you'll get these amazing photos in regular burst, night photo, super photo, and raw photo. And you can now pull 19.6 megapixels still from videos, which is up from 12 to 14 megapixels in the 9. The higher the resolution, the better the photo. The Hero 10 also has this amazing hydrophobic lens cover that repels water, which in turn eliminates lens flare and other artifacts that can affect your images. The Hero 10 is water resistant up to 33 feet, and if you were to submerge it, the lens coating actually repels water. With the Hero 9, you'll still get water droplets left over, which can affect your image, but with this new lens cover, the water falls right off. The lens cover is removable as well and will fit on the Hero 9, so if you want just the lens cover for your 9, you can order that one separately. Both the Hero 10 and the Hero 9 come with power tools such as Live Burst and Hindsight. With Live Burst, think of it like a live photo on your iPhone. It records one and a half seconds before and after your shot, so you basically get 90 frames or a three second video. You're able to scroll through the frames and choose the one you like as well. Hindsight captures up to 30 seconds of footage before you start recording as a buffer. The 30 second timer is up here and it will turn blue once it hits its buffer limit. Then you hit record and when you play your footage back, you'll see that the 30 seconds prior to you hitting record was also captured. This does take up some battery, so I wouldn't suggest using it all the time. As I mentioned before, you can now use HyperSmooth 4.0 when you live stream on your Hero 10. Your shots are going to be super smooth, your resolution sharp, and you can broadcast in full 1080p HD video with a wide 132 degree field of view. With the front LCD, you can frame your shots perfectly as well. You still get the same lenses on the Hero 10, can still add or customize the quick access profiles, and it's still got the regular legs that pop out for the mount just like on previous versions. It's got scheduled capture to start filming at a different time, duration capture where it'll turn off after a certain time period, timer to delay how long until the shot starts, and time warp or time lapse settings. Time warp is good for moving, while time lapse is better when you're static. You can also use voice commands, turn on or off the beeps, and customize other options like turning on the grid or changing your front screen options. The front LCD has a higher quality preview now on the Hero 10 than on the Hero 9 because the 10 can drive the front display at a higher frame rate. The live preview is going to be much smoother and less choppy with higher frame rates, so you can actually preview what you're about to shoot. And the back touchscreen now has improved responsiveness, so it's even faster to swipe through options and playback footage. The Hero 10 has improved night performance with reduced noise and low light than the Hero 9. I will say it's not amazing at night still. It's mostly for low light situations such as sunset rather than pitch black. It does have some great local tone mapping in videos as well as 3D noise reduction. So if you have high contrast or areas of different brightness throughout your shot, it can figure out which portions of the frame should be exposed at which levels. It does do a little better than the Hero 9 at this. GoPro has updated their mobile app quick for a better user experience as well. You can use your phone as a remote control for your GoPro and transfer shots wirelessly to your phone. One quick thing to note, when you're using your phone to start recording on your Hero 10, you will see the preview in app, 
but the screen will turn black as soon as you hit the record button. It is still recording, but you just won't be able to view it through the app on your phone. And what's really cool now is that it's cloud connected, which means whenever you plug your Hero 10 into charge, your footage will be automatically uploaded to your GoPro cloud account. You'll get 30% faster Wi-Fi downloads, or you can even plug your GoPro directly into your phone to make downloading faster. You'll need a lightning to USB camera connector if you're using an iPhone, or a USB-C to USB-C connector if you're using an Android, but both of these are sold separately. The battery is the same for both the Hero 10 and the Hero 9. You'll still charge it with a USB to USB-C charger, and the case is basically the same as well. The Hero 10 weighs about five grams less than the Hero 9, but all in all, the GoPro Hero 10 is essentially the same as the Hero 9, but with some improved features. The stabilization is definitely better, and the lens cover is a favorite of mine since it repels water. The Hero 10 is a bit pricier than the Hero 9, but if you're in the market for that, I'd say go with the 10. If not, your 9 will do just fine, and you can even purchase the 10's hydrophobic lens cover separately. If you have any other questions about the GoPro Hero 10, please reach out to us by phone, email, or chat with one of our experts online. We're always happy to help. If you want unprecedented stability in all your shots, this camera will be your hero. I'll see you next time.